Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. On 1st of June 2023, India carried out successful training launch of medium-range ballistic missile Agni-1 from APJ Abdul Kalam Island in Odisha. DIDO is developing an upgraded two-stage variant called Agni-1 Prime or Agni-1P by borrowing the newer technologies from Agni-4 and Agni-5 missiles to increase accuracy and reliability and this missile will replace the Agni-1. So the good news is that on 7th of June, that is yesterday, the new generation ballistic missile Agni Prime was successfully flight tested by DRDO from APJ Abdul Kalam Island off the Odisha coast. During the flight test, all objectives were successfully demonstrated. This was the first pre-induction night launch conducted by users after three successful developmental trials of the missile and validating the accuracy and reliability of the system. Range instrumentations like radar, telemetry, and electro-optical tracking systems were deployed at different locations, including two downrange ships at the terminal point to capture the flight data covering the entire trajectory of the missile. Senior officials from DIDO and Strategic Forces Command witnessed the successful flight test. As per Ministry of Defense, this test has paved the way for induction of system into armed forces. Now talking about Agni Prime, it is a two-stage solid propellant ballistic missile with a dual redundant navigation and guidance system. It features a ring laser-based gyro inertial navigation system and a modern micro navigation system borrowed from Agni 5. The missile has range between 1000 to 2000 km and features all composite structure including the casing which significantly reduces its weight and considerably improves its range. Agni Prime looks more like a mini variant of bigger Agni 5 and actually it does incorporate many technologies that were exclusively developed for Agni 5 program which includes first for India of integrating hermetically sealed tandem twin canister made of composite materials that allow easier storage of missiles and quicker salvo launches and also makes it difficult for satellite to pick them up when on the move. Now, since Agni Prime is a canister launch missile, it can be stored for a longer period and can be transported across the country via rail, road or as per the operational requirements. The other major enhancements of Agni Prime over its predecessors include fully upgraded composite, new propulsion system, innovative guidance and control mechanism and state-of-art navigation system. It is a sleeker missile with weight one-fifth and dimension almost half of Agni 3 missile which makes it stealthier than its predecessor. This provides the missile better evasion capability against anti-ballistic missile defense. So Agni Prime is being developed to replace Agni 1 missile, which has been in service and has range between 700 to 1200 kilometers and Agni 2, which is having range between 2000 to 3500 kilometers. Agni Prime will also complement Agni 5 missile. This missile can carry warhead between 1500 to 3000 kg. A notable feature of Agni Prime is four delta fins for terminal maneuver, which can defeat ballistic missile defense system and can also be used as anti-ship ballistic missile when a new variant is developed based on the Agni Prime missile. This missile also uses cold launch mechanism and can be fired in salvo mode. DIDO is working on a 1500 km range conventionally armed ballistic missile with an anti-ship capability and it is expected to be based on Agni Prime. Besides aircraft carrier, the new ballistic missile can also target land-based assets across LSE in Xinjiang, Tibet and Yunnan provinces. Due to its range, the new missile will provide deterrence against the adversary's carrier strike group and at the same time protect its own aircraft carrier. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We will soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.